Hello, I'm Georgina Hayden and today I'm going to show you how to make one of my favourite Greek pastries, breads, snacks. It's called Dahinobita and it's kind of like a cinnamon bun or a cinnamon swirl and it's a bread dough that is swirled with a sweet tahini. We eat it primarily in times of fasting because it doesn't have any animal products in but you'll find them all year round and they're so delicious and when they're warm I cannot resist them. So what I've done here is I've made a bread dough really simply just mixed flour with salt and yeast I haven't even let it prove you don't need to so it makes this recipe very very quick and in here I've mixed together a dark tahini so it's great now because you can find tahini in most supermarkets and it's quite light but the dark tahini is the, is the whole sesame and it's roasted first which has a real richness to it if you can't get it don't worry just use the normal stuff it's absolutely fine and I've mixed it together with caster sugar a little bit of cinnamon and carob syrup, which is a really traditional Cypriot ingredient. And it's kind of like molasses. Um, you often find it in vegan cooking as a replacement for things like chocolate. It's really delicious. So I'm here to show you how to create that lovely swirl. First thing you do, divide your dough into four and just put it in the palm of your hand. Don't worry too much about perfection. And then just put a spoonful of the tahini mixture in the middle. Essentially what you want to do, they end up looking quite messy, but you want to get a really good distribution of the filling to the bread dough. So just press it down. You can feel that you're pressing that tahini within the dough and then do the same again. Now it will spill out, don't worry. So again, you just want to distribute that. So make it into like a little ball and flatten it with your hand. And now what we're going to do is we're going to get it into a long sausage to flour your worktop and guide the bread into a sausage shape. Don't worry too much about, look, it's starting to rip. You can see that filling. It's not a problem at all. In a way, you want to expose the sort of the sweeter mixture so it caramelizes on the edges as well. What you'll find with most of these dakinobites is they're drenched in the sugar syrup. But for sake of ease, I've actually just drizzled mine with honey, which is delicious. But if you're vegan, you can drizzle it with a sugar syrup, you can use um, agave, anything like that will be fine. It's a really malleable recipe. So keep going as much as you can. If you feel like it's gonna rip, don't worry. And actually we want to maximize the amount of tahini on show. So what I do is I get a bit more of this filling and I sort of quite haphazardly just press it into the dough as I go like this just pushing it in so you've got layers of bread mixed with loads of delicious flavor so that's feeling really good and I feel like that's a good amount of dough and a good length so what we do now hold each end and twirl it a bit like you would a cheese straw you can do it in the air if you want if you feel like it's gonna break just do it on your work top like this so I've just Twirl that as much as I can. I feel like there's a really good distribution of filling to bread dough there. So we're now going to swirl up a big cinnamon roll. So just swirl it around like this. You don't want it too tightly twirled because you want to give it all room for movement and growth in the oven. And that is literally it. Just poke that bit underneath so it doesn't unravel in the oven. And I just press it down slightly with my hand, just like so. And that is that done. So just make the other four and then when they come out of the oven, good drizzle of honey, so delicious. 